Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster, and today we're going to be reviewing the Sterling by Music Man, Ray 24 CA, and asking the question, is this thing really a classic? Well, let's find out. So this is the Sterling by Music Man Ray 24 CA, or Ray 24 Classic. And next to it is a cat. And the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Classic. The Sterling by Music Man Ray 24 Classic features a slab mahogany body, and I think it might be Eastern mahogany, but I can't really verify that, so take that for what it is. And it also features a ceramic humbucker. Now this is an upgraded humbucker. It is not the same humbucker that you find in the SUB. Though it does say it's the same on the website, this is a completely different pickup and it is much better than the one you find in the SUB. The Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Classic on the other hand, features a Alnico humbucker and an ash body as opposed to the mahogany here, but both are slab bodies. Now this pickup is very interesting because stock, it is actually wired in series, where the default humbucker configuration for a Stingray is parallel. So that Ernie Ball Stingray Classic over there is wired in parallel, as well as every other Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray. And I also believe the Ray 34 is also wired in parallel, where the Ray 24 as well as the SUB are wired in series. The SUB pickup, you cannot wire in parallel unless you really take it apart but the Ray 24 pickup does give you access to both grounds and both leads. So you can wire this in parallel and get a real Stingray sound out of it. I'm just wondering why they didn't do it out of the box, considering that this is supposed to be modeled after a classic Stingray. Now both bases do feature a two-band preamp, but they are very different preamps. With the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Classic preamp being modeled after the original Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray, the Ray 24 Classic, on the other hand, is using the exact same preamp as you find in the $300 SUB. Now the necks on these two bases are also extremely different. The Ray 24 CA actually has the exact same neck as you would find in an SUB, just with a vintage tint on it. Yeah, it's just slightly tinted versus the regular SUB neck, but they're exactly the same. They say it's inspired by the Music Man Stingray Slow or SLO, um, however, it is just the SUB neck with a tent, so I don't think there's really any inspiration there. It's more marketing. The Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray, however, has a gorgeous flamed maple neck. I mean, this thing is a sight to behold and has a thick gloss as well as a tint on it. I mean, this is an amazing neck. Then again, that base is also five times the price of this. The question still remains though, is this anywhere close to that Music Man Stingray Classic? Well. We can only find out by playing them. Let's do this. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Not bad. Again, this doesn't not sound like a Stingray. However, one of the defining characteristics of the Stingray sound is the parallel pickup, which gives you that kind of gritty signature Stingray sound, which is not missing here, but altered. First, we're gonna explore this bass in a little bit more detail, and then we're gonna go ahead and play this side by side with our Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Classic so we can hear the difference. So what I just played was with the preamp 100% cut. Like Sterling Ball says. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start flat because that's really where you should start with this bass. So first, let's go ahead and center the bass control. Ugh. 
big difference between the feel of these two preamps is that this preamp, again, the same as the SUB preamp, does have a center notch when you're at center, whereas the classic preamp, though it is a boost and cut preamp, has no notch. So you're kind of winging it. So here's 50% boost on the bass control. <laughs> Not bad. Now let's go ahead and cut the bass entirely and bring the treble control up to center. Not bad at all. Has some nice bite to it without being too screechy. Now let's just boost the treble to 50% while keeping the bass cut. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. So, the SUB preamp slash the preamp that's in this, not a bad preamp. It's a basic preamp, it's a simple preamp, but does its job, especially paired with a nicer pickup than what you get in the SUB, like the Ray24 pickup, or the Aguilar pickup that we upgraded one of our SUBs with. There's also a lot of other pickup options out there, and we'll be checking those out in a separate series. Now let's go ahead and bring the treble control back to center and bring the bass control up to center as well and see what that sounds like. Not bad. Now before we compare this to the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Classic, we are just going to go ahead and put this in my favorite Stingray mode. So that is when you have the bass centered, or the bass I guess with this at 50% because center is kind of ambiguous, and the treble control to about 25%, so that is cut about 50%. I know it's confusing, but it's difficult without the little center notch. But anyways, that is my favorite Stingray tone, and here's what that sounds like on this. in this thing. <laughs> now let's play this thing head to head with the actual Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Classic, the Big Boy Classic. Thank you. 
One other thing I forgot to mention about the Stingray Classic, string through body construction, whereas the regular Stingray, including the US ones, do not have string through body. And the Ray 24 Classic doesn't as well. So that was in Stingray mode, but to make it apples to apples, because the preamp on this is a little bit more ambiguous, let's also do that same lick with the preamps cut on both. slap these things. Finally, let's hear what this thing sounds like with some drums behind it. So here are my final thoughts on the Sterling by Music Man Ray 24 CA or Ray 24 Classic. It is not a bad instrument by any means. In fact, it's a great bass. I really enjoy playing it. It sounds great. It plays great. However, I did point out that this thing is $200 more than the Sterling by Music Man SUB and features a lot of the same or similar parts. Do I think this is worthy of the classic moniker? No, I definitely don't think so. I don't think the slab body or the vintage tint on the neck make this thing a classic. I think that's a lot of marketing mumbo jumbo, so I'm not really too keen on that. I also pointed out that some of the components that the two bases share, the Ray 24 Classic and the SUB, have different, I guess, descriptions or verbiage for the same components, kind of jazzing it up for the more expensive instrument, where there really isn't any added value there. So I didn't really like that that much. The upgraded bridge versus the SUB is very nice. However, the SUB bridge is more shaped like the actual classic bridge without the mutes. So I wouldn't call this a classic bridge. The preamp, it's a two band, but that's pretty much where the similarities end. These are completely different two band preamps and the Ray 24 preamp is the exact same that's in the SUB. 
so I wouldn't call this a classic preamp. The neck, same as the SUB, not a classic neck. The classic necks have a full gloss finish and a very nice gloss finish on that. Um, those are really nice necks. This is a nice neck, but it's the same as the SUB with a vintage tint on it. There's no gloss, no real differentiation in terms of classic, other than a slight tint. The pickup, though it is a humbucker, is wired in series, whereas the Alnico humbucker that is in the Stingray Classic over here is wired in parallel like a true Stingray. Now, given that you have access to both grounds and both sets of leads on the Ray 24 Classic pickup, this thing could easily be wired in parallel to be a real Stingray. Why they have it in series out of the box? Kind of seems like they're gimping this thing on purpose. So, not a classic configuration there. Does this live up to the classic moniker? No. Is it a Stingray though? Yes. And it does play great and it does sound great. So what am I gonna rate the Sterling by Music Man Ray 24 Classic? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this bass. Three claws out of five. It's not a bad instrument at any means, especially at $500. However, the fact that it shares a lot of the same components with its $300 counterpart, the SUB, and has its pickup wired in series on purpose, leaves me with kind of a bad taste in my mouth. That and the weird verbiage used to describe some of the components on this that are the exact same as the ones in the SUB as more vintage inspired, like a 70s inspired preamp or something. No, this is, this is the same preamp that's in the SUB that's just a nine volt two band as you describe it. So, eh, I don't like that. But the bass is a great bass. Do I think you're losing out or making a bad decision by buying one of these? Absolutely not. Especially if you're not looking to really mod it at all. The SUB is a great modding platform, but the stock pickup is not great. The pickup in this is vastly improved over the SUB. You have a better bridge, a vintage tint to the neck. There's some improvements there, don't get me wrong. It's not like there's no value added. However, that $200 price bump when you're looking MSRP to MSRP. Is it really worth it? That's up to you to decide. At a $380 sale price though, which it is right now at least, and it's December 2020, don't know how long it's going to be on sale for, much better buy, much more palatable. You're getting an upgraded pickup, upgraded bridge, tinted neck, slab body, different material, not necessarily better I'd say, but different. And we will be doing a separate video on this bass where we wire it in parallel and compare the sounds between the pickup in series and the pickup in parallel and see which one is more Stingray-ish for real. Be sure to check that out. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Sterling by Music Man Ray 24 CA. And as always, until we groove again.